Soon you'll be able to buy movie tickets with Bitcoin. In an earnings call on Monday, AMC said customers in the U.S. will be able to get tickets and snacks with Bitcoin by 2022. So my immediate thoughts about this were that we need more clarity on taxes before this is really cool. But I think it's really awesome that AMC is putting the technical infrastructure into place so that people have the option to buy tickets and snacks with Bitcoin. And then when we finally get clarity on taxes, this can be something that the mainstream can enjoy. But Naomi, I know you love to spend your Bitcoin on various different things. So I'm going <laughs> to kick this off, off to you. What did you think when you read this story? Clarifying comment. I do not spend my Bitcoin on anything. I save my Bitcoin. I spend <laughs> other coins on things because spending Bitcoin, oh. it doesn't make sense for a merchant situation. It takes like 10 minutes exactly. at least uh, for something to be confirmed. So a merchant is not going to wait around as you're like, wait, it, it's coming through. Trust me, it's almost there. It doesn't work. I've tried this for years. Um, also, it's very expensive. But yes, crypto in general is good for spending. Um, I mean, it, it. I will say that I don't see this as like, yay, AMC is getting on board. Like I see this as a dying industry and then basically put the, putting the word blockchain in their, you know, stock ticker. Like, ah, uh, AM blockchain C, you know, like because things are going down. You have, have, um, uh, Wall Street bets like propping them up and Will is like, no, I just, I just Haiti don't on see Americana. a future. That's just never going to be good. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I love That's what that. A stands but for I, in AMC, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Americana. Um, like I just, it doesn't seem like it's practical for them. I, um, and if people want to spend crypto, there are so many ways they could spend it at AMC. I mean, Dash Direct that we talked about the other week, I could spend as much crypto as I want at AMC already. I do think it's cool. Like I'm, I'm, I don't want to completely deflate this. Like I think that people embracing this and creating a closed, closed loop economy where you can earn and sell your crypto. That's what we want in society. We don't want like a one-way street. And so that's definitely something we want to get more integrated in, but I'm not sure that's why they're doing this. So I'm a little skeptical, but seeing as I saw your, you like shaking your head at me, Will, I'm going to throw to you. <laughs> that was my only comment. Just like, don't hate it on the movies. Movies aren't going away. Not popular now, but they're coming back. Zach, you had some yeah. thoughts? Yeah, I mean, just activate the fan base. You know, I think CNN uh, had a good headline on this one. They're like, AMC plays to the Reddit crowd or something like that. And I thought that was mm -hmm. a good encapsulation of what this yeah. speaks to, right? You know, these are these are communities of online fandoms. And AMC has just so, has like happened to like luck into an online fan community by way of the Wall Street Vets movement. And they're like, hey, you know what? Let's throw that community bone. It, you can spend your Bitcoin here. I mean, we've seen these big companies try to do it and there's been little uptick, right? Like nobody really bought Teslas yeah. with Bitcoin for however long uh, Elon Musk said that they could do it. But it sure generated a lot of headlines and a lot of excitement about uh, an ostensibly forward-thinking company embracing new technology. So the fact that AMC is doing that sort of feels in that vein. Um, and I'd be curious to see if anyone ultimately took them up on the offer. But, you know, time will tell. I'll talk if to they do, if got. they do, it's a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> I also want to just All note right. on this earnings call and like I'll, we'll move on super shortly. I'm happy to do that. But they also know that they're going to start accepting Apple Pay and Google Pay. So I think that's kind of a sign of the times in terms of where their tech capabilities are at. 